Since getting my surface grinder, there's been a little job that I've been meaning to do. And it's only at this point now that I'm sufficiently confident enough that I can actually do a good enough job. And that's to resurface the jaws of this vice. I got the, uh, the mill and the vice a year or so ago. And since then I've been sort of learning how to use it and that, that kind of thing. And it's only sort of recently that I've realized that the jaws are, they've been battered basically. They're, they're, they're out by a, a few mil here and there. You can actually, when you run your finger along the front, you can actually feel the surface is pitted um, on, on the back and the fixed jaw. So what I'm planning to do is um, take them off and flatten them out on the on the grinder and hopefully put a finish although it may not be a professional finish it will be a better finish than it currently has so um, let's see how we get on so the first thing I'm going to do is take the jaws off and they are held on with cap head bolts And to start with the uh, the movable jaws first. And what I'll do is I'll do one and then we can do a comparison. So you can see hopefully if I can get that the finish is I'll, I'll take some close-ups, but you can see that the finish, the, the top is pitted with little marks. Hopefully you can see in this image the uh, the damage on the actual jaw. And just by running your finger along it, you can actually feel the um, the pits. It's not just it's not just visible. It's um, you can you can feel it with your finger. Okay, so I've just stoned the magnetic chuck. That's now nice and flat. I dressed the wheel. Um, I've also degreased the uh, the jaw that I'm about to grind. This is the surface that I'm about to grind. The rear is still pretty flat, and this is the top edge of the jaw, which um, again has got lots of scuffs and marks. However, I'm going to use the bottom edge that has been protected by the back of the vise to line up. So make sure there's no chips or anything slide it on to the chuck, make sure it engages with as many of the magnetic elements as possible and secure it up down. I've also had the spindle motor running for about five minutes so it is up to temperature However, I just turned it off while I, while I started the recording. However, I do need it now, so... And I also need the hydraulics. So... First things first, I need to touch off, so I'm going to use a post-it note and then bring the spindle down, or the wheel down, until it grabs it and takes it off. making contact now. There we go. So I now know I'm within a couple of thousands of the um, of the service. I'm now going to switch to tenths mode and I'm going to engage the 
grinder or the um, table and I'm going to bring it down in 10 increments. first touch. So I'm now going to use that as the marker and I'm going to manually work my way along. Very slowly just to make sure that there are no high spots. I can hear the wheel just touching. There's a slight high spot there. Okay, so, we now know that the wheel is within a few thousandths of the surface. What I'm going to do now is feed it down three thousandths and then start a pass. Also going to use coolant. So I'm now going to feed it down another few tenths, feed it back the other way, and I'm going to keep doing that until I'm satisfied with the finish. I'll bring you back when I'm done. So that, uh, that last pass was the, um, the spark out pass. So I'm happy with the uh, I'm happy with the finish now. Let's turn things off.
Okay, there we go. Can we see that okay? Far better than it was. Okay, so there we go. Both jaws are done. Slightly better finish than it was originally. There are still a few blemishes, mainly on the edge here. Uh, now to, to clean those up I would have had to have gone down several thousandths. You can, you can feel the going. However, the rest of the jaw face is perfectly flat now to within one tenth. Those little parts there I'll just have to work around. However, it has made me think of a quick project that I can do where I'm going to make some replacement jaws <clears throat> slightly wider and also slightly higher as these ones when they're mounted the lip between the jaw and the body of the vise is too small to use clamps as stops so I think what I'll do is I'll make some more jaws which are slightly higher which will allow me to put the clips on however for the time being these two will do the job very happy